to start a Zen UML, the first keyword is Zen UML. And then you can then give it a title. So I'm going to say Alice and John Communication as the title. And then I'll start by saying Alice communicating with John with a semicolon and then the text or the message, which is, hello, John, how are you? And then also John can respond back to Alice, semicolon, and say, great. And Alice also can respond back to John uh, with another text saying, see you later. Alice and John are participants in this communication in this sequence diagram we can define alice and john implicitly in the code before doing the communication so we can say alice and then below it say john nothing actually changes but the definition helps to know the participant in this communication let's say we have communication between three entities so i'm going to start a zen uml and the communication, let me give it a title of aliases. And the communication will be between entity A who communicate with B. Okay, let me define them first. A, B, and C. These are the three entities. So A communicates with B and um, says, uh, hello there. And B responds back to A. Say hi. And then A also sends a message to B to C. And, and that is hello. Just a simple communication. Now, these are not very intuitive because it's just ABC. So you can use alias to give these different objects names. So for instance, we can say A has an alias of Alice. So we say A as Alice and you'll see instead of A is putting Alice there and we can say B is Bob and C as Charles. So now those aliases are now used instead of the object names as specified here. You can check out my full video tutorial on Udemy titled Mastering Mamed JS Diagram, Chart, and Data Visualization, which teaches in depth course on different Mamed JS diagram and chart implementation. Check out the link in the description for more details.